And it just kind of gets on your nerves because you wonder as people say young people are depressed. Well, hell, if I was young, I'd be depressed. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the truth. I know other people are going to come and tell you you should be excited. Why? What's out there? You're going to struggle? You're going to make a 3.5 and somebody's going to tell you that's not good enough. You should have had a 3.56. It's true. You're going to work hard. You're going to be black. You're going to be a woman. You're going to work really, really hard to get a job in some corporation. Then they say, well, what did you do for somebody else? You say, well, damn. Do you realize what doing for, for myself did it? You understand what I'm saying? If you're a woman today, and I'm not going to get on his case because he bores me, but if you're a woman today and you get pregnant, you've got to be bothered with the Jerry Farwell telling you you should have the baby, then you have the baby, you've got to be bothered with him telling you you're a welfare chief. You say, well, what do you want? You know, run it back to me. What do you want? We know. It's so unfair to women, really. We know that the major cause of female pregnancy is male erections. <laughs> it's true. That's true. Why are we picking on teenage girls? Tell them teenage boys, keep it down, kid. <laughs> it would stop it. It would stop it right away. Don't hand me all of this crap they're handing me. Don't hand me that. I cannot believe that the unborn is any more important than the unconceived. So if the guys are sitting there jacking off, hey, you got a problem too, let Jerry Firewall talk to them. Don't hand it to me. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to talk. It's just so unfair, the kind of things that are, are happening today, and it makes you so mad. It really does, because all you're trying to do, if you're like me, all you're trying to do is wake up in the morning, figure out a reason not to commit suicide, <laughs> and go for it. All most of us want... And that's the truth. All most of us want is somebody to love and somebody that we can love. We want a job that we can go to that is being, sure, we're underpaid, but at least we know it's there. We want to feel that there is some dignity in our lives, and I can't believe that we're asking too much. We do want to feel that someplace there is something in us that is good and that is wonderful, and if we bring it out, nobody will trample on it. We want to feel that we can commit to something a little bit beyond what we have seen. I can't believe that we are asking too much. I can't believe that human beings have to continue to go back to square one all the time. We know how to do hate. We know how to do ignorance. We know how to do war. We know how to do indifference. We know how to do all of the mean, dirty, ugly things in this world. We don't have to practice that. We have to practice loving and caring and tolerance. And it is time that we started it. We are 16 years out of another century. Some of us in this room may be anti-nuke people. I admire the anti-nuke people. I want to be very clear. I think that's neat. For those of us who are concerned about nuclear war, I think you're right. I really do. But I can't worry about my death. I can't worry about the death of this planet because if, if, they, if they shoot us, if they shoot the rockets, we're dead. I mean, that's the way. Now, I'm not saying I think well on this. I'm not trying to be persuasive. I'm just saying that's the way I look at it. They press the buttons. Bingo. I'm gone. I happen to be one of the people that will die the first time I'm killed so they can stop the 12 of Now, everybody obviously hasn't committed to that. Because we've got something like a 12 overkill, the Russians have something like an 8 overkill. I'm telling them all, you got 11 more deaths than you can use that you're wasting on me. I'm going to die the first time. <laughs> Save the money. Square biz. For the people that are involved in that, I think it's good and I think you do a good job. I'm trying to say I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about what if we don't drop a bomb? What if we don't have a nuclear ca catastrophe? Then how shall we live? It will not be anything big or anything so terribly romantic. If you saw the day after and you saw those rockets going up, you had to get just a little bit excited. It was a turn on. You say, hey, whoa, look at them go. I mean, it was a turn on, no question about it. Somebody's going to be hard up for something to do and going to press the buttons just to see them rockets go, man. But if they don't, then how will you and I get along? How will you and I, who are students at this institution, who want to study, who want to try to do what we can, continue to be able to matriculate here if we can't have any money? Hmm? 